we're not just going forward. Oh no, we're going flash forward into issue number three. Written by Scott Lobdell with pencils by Brett Booth, inks by Norm Rapmun, colors by Luis Guerrero, and letters by Troy Pateri. And this issue begins with Wally saving falling people who are thanking him and glad he's not one of them. Wally then hears what he thinks is a missile and instead sees the cruise ship the people were thrown off of crashing into the city, where once again someone asks if he can save the people from them. It turns out that them is a Justice League of Vampires as Vampire Superman shows up and begins fighting Wally. But because of the extra energy given to him by Tempest, Wally is able to overpower Superman, stunning him with a series of blows and knocking him into makeshift wooden stakes. It is then revealed that someone is watching Wally from a distance when Wally is punched by the vampire Barry Allen Flash. During the fight, Wally has a brief moment where he imagines Roy Harper's head on Barry, which throws him off, giving Barry the chance to grasp Wally by the throat. Suddenly, before Wally can be infected and turned into a vampire, Barry is shot with multiple arrows from behind and then explodes. Wally comes face to face with this Earth's Roy Harper, with Wally explaining he's from another Earth and is here to stop the Dark Multiverse Anomaly. After hearing Wally's story, Roy explains how the Justice League became vampires, starting with Batman becoming one in order to fight Dracula. After some discussion, the two decide to team up in order to help one another, and they travel to the Bat Cave. Once there, Wally phases them through so Roy doesn't need to use explosives, and it's here that the Dark Multiverse energy can be seen floating around the cave. Wally prepares to use the device that Tempest gave him, but it's knocked out of his hand by Vampire Batman. Roy decides to distract Batman, while Wally gets the device in which Roy is wounded by Batman. Wally traps Batman by phasing him into his nuclear reactor, and then rushes to Roy, only to watch him die from his wounds. The issue wraps up as Wally mourns Roy while thinking that he's been so busy thinking of Roy as a victim, he forgot the hero he was. Tempest sees this and thinks that of all the tasks he's undergone, he's never had to reignite the flame of a hero. And this issue just hit it home for me. I absolutely loved it. It's really great to see Wally who was torn down in Heroes in Crisis, now being built back up, becoming more hopeful. In a way, being able to hang out with Roy, one of his best friends, getting to see a smile on his face, and coming to understand that he doesn't need to see Roy so much as a victim, just remember him for the hero he was. And 10 points goes to DC's writer Scott Lobdell for including the vampire world, because I absolutely love the story Batman Reign, in which Batman goes up against the Prince of Darkness himself, Dracula, and finds that he's just not quite up to the task, so he makes himself a vampire in order to fight Dracula. And it's pretty apparent what happened as he turned the entire Justice League into vampires. And much like another story I recently talked about on this channel, I would very much like to see that Vampire Justice League world in a spin-off series, just for about six issues or so, or heck, I'd settle for a one-shot, because this book just reminded me of how much I love that concept. And now when it comes to Tempest, in my last Flash Forward review, I did mention that is the multiverse threat really that big a deal, or is it actually more about building Wally back up to becoming a hero? And that's an idea I kind of played around with in my mind, and now after reading this issue, I'm definitely convinced that that is actually the main focus. Because as Wally is undergoing these tasks and saving these Earths, he's becoming more and more and more like his old self. Because it seems Tempest is trying to prepare Wally for an even bigger fight that's coming, and if you're reading Tales of the Dark Multiverse, Tempest in those books does mention that there's a big crisis coming. And now I'm wondering if Wally is not meant to be at the center of that somehow. What that is, I don't know. Maybe we'll get that story in the rest of the issues to come, and I'm going to say, that Flash Forward issue number three gets the epic gold medal. So Flash Forward issue number three, have you read this book? I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you'd smash that like button, share it with some friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and ring that notification bell for more comic book content. And if you're wondering what to watch next, consider one of these two videos. All right, take care, have a great day, and as always, stay geeky.